follow the steps keenly. First, create Koyab account. To create the account click on Koyab sign up. I have included link to this repository in the description box below. If you have Koyab account already you can just log in, but in case you don't have, you need to sign up. On sign up page, type your name. Thereafter your mail. Then enter password of your choice. When you finish, now click on sign up with email. Verification mail will be sent in the mail you provided. To verify the Koyab account, open your mail. Then click on verify. Your account will be verified thereafter you can have a look at the Koyab account you just created to get used to the interface. This is a simple interface that will enable the making of the WhatsApp robot. Now next step is to get database URL. Database URL is essential since it's the one that is necessary for deployment of the bot to take place. To get URL database you need to create either render account in render.com or create railway account on railway.app. Here, decision solely lies on you since both produces same results. In my case, I will pick render.com. So in case you want to follow along with me and you do not have account in render, then click on create an account and register for a new account. Registering in Render does not require many steps, just enter your mail and password of your wish. Thereafter, click on Complete Sign Up. A verification mail will be sent on the mail you provided, so, open your mail and verify it. To verify, just click on the link sent in the mail and your account will be verified. Now after the mail has been confirmed, you will now have render account that will be used later. Now go back. This step was to enable us to get the database URL. Now, to get the URL, just go to render.com. First, enter name. Name can be any name you can think of. After that, scroll down and click on Create Database. After creating database, Scroll down and find the external database URL which we are interested in and copy it. Now next step is to scan the QR code in WhatsApp. Open your WhatsApp. Then find linked devices. 
Now click on link device. You should be having another device to scan from, it may be another phone or a laptop. Logging depends on internet stability and or amount of data loaded in WhatsApp, so be patient as it scans. When the scan is done, you will be sent session ID on WhatsApp. Take note, session ID is very important because without it the bot cannot run. Now let's continue with the steps. Now at step 4, click on deploy now. If you experience this error, then do the following. Click on the back home button. Now from here, click on deploy on the button that is under deploy an existing project. On the next page, click on docker. Under image tab, write the following. Make sure you write exactly as it appears. Now next under tag, write there beta. Then click next. Now on regions, you can select any country, I will go with the first one. Now scroll down and hit that deploy button. If you are not logged in Koyab account, you'll be prompted to log in. After successfully logging in, now enable desktop mode by clicking on the three dots found at the top right corner and enable the desktop site mode. Now while on this page, find and click on Runtime Logs. The logs will start populating. Wait till until the last login killed. Now after that, scroll up and click on settings.
From here, we need to add environmental variables. These are responsible for creating commands that you will be using on WhatsApp. To add variables, just click on add variable. Note, session ID is mandatory. So let's start with session it. Write the word session ID under the key, then go to WhatsApp and copy the session ID you were sent after scanning the QR code. After copying the session ID, paste it under value. Click again on add variable, this time round, add database URL write the word database under the key, then now go to render.com, and copy the external database URL I told you before. And paste it under value. Now you can add other variables you wish to use as commands on WhatsApp. There are many variables listed here, just pick the ones that are suitable for you. Each variable executes different commands. For better experience, just add all the variables. But to make the video as short as possible, I will not add all the variables. Now after you are done adding the variables, scroll down and click on update service. Now on this page, you will see deployment is starting. Wait for some minutes till it starts. Now to confirm if the bot started working, just head over where you will send the session ID on WhatsApp. Then try type dot menu and see if you will be provided with the bot menu. When you see the bot menu it means the bot is now roking. As you can see it's working fine. Now, you can explore the features of the bot. It got wide category of features which I think if I start talking of them now, it will take a lot of time. I prefer you go through them yourself and learn. Meanwhile, thank you for watching. If the video was helpful, make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel.